and welcome to my KCC Vision channel, the Marita James, the magnet, the magnet of mathematics in the World's Boys High School. Uh, today we are looking at the uh, use of probability tables, KCC 1990 question number one. So we have our KCC 1990 question number one. So we have evaluate 1.34 you divide by, uh, into bracket we have 5.24 raised to 0 0.8, then times 0 0.0029. When you are using this evaluating tables, so we write, you can have a, um, you can have a number here, so we have, this is our number, and then of course you have, you can drop off the log of that number. So in the first case, we are supposed to express 1.34 in the scientific form or in the standard form. So to write this one in the scientific form, so we have as 1.34, this one times 10, already we have a decimal number between the digits 1 to, 1 to 9, so this one is raised to 0. And therefore, we can have this as 0, Point. We read now the logarithm of uh, 1.34 from the table and which reads as uh, 1 point. So we have 0, we can read this as 1, uh, 2, 7, 1. Now you can find uh, 5.24 also in scientific form, it's already in scientific form, so we write this as 5.24. 2, 4 times 10. Or if the decimal, decimal place is between 5 and 2, digits between 1 to 9, so we raise this one to 0 also, and therefore this 0 we can have it here as 0 point, then we, re we read the log of uh, 5.24 from the table, and this one we read as 7193, so we have 7, 1, then we have 9, 3. Now, in uh, the laws of, uh, there are some rules which can guide the use of our variety of tables. When we have a number raised to a given power, we are supposed to take the logarithm of the number times this power. So in this case, the logarithm of 5.24 is equivalent to 0 0.7193, and this one is raised by 0 0.8. So we take the logarithm of this number times this power. So we can multiply by the power, and our power here is a 0 0.8, so this one you multiply by 0 0.8. And if you work out from the calculator, this one gives us 0, you have this one as 0 0.57, then we have Five, five. So what I'm repeating here is that when a number is raised to a given power, you take the logarithm of the number times the power, and this one now it gives us this one. We proceed. We reach uh, 0 0.0029 from the table, but before that one, express this number in scientific form. So in the scientific form, we have that number as 2.9, then this one we have times 10. We have placed our decimal number here, so we count uh, backwards until we have the original decimal number. So we can have one, two backwards, so we can have this one as negative two. So this negative two, we, we can express this negative two. Negative two now, we write this one as per two point, and then we read the logarithm of 2.9 from the table, which is a equivalent to, which is equivalent to, sorry, we have to place a decimal number here, so we have 2.9, so this one, our decimal number is here, so we have this one as negative 3, so this one here it is negative 3, and therefore we can change this one as, we have as per 3 point, we, we can now read the logarithm of that one, 
which gives us 4, 6, and then we have a 2, 4. What again do you need to understand? We are talking of multiplication here. This multiplication it means we find the logarithm of this one here plus the multiplication sign will change with the addition. So we find the logarithm of this one plus the logarithm of this number. So we can we have this one as 0 0.5755 plus 3.4624. So here we can perform an operation of addition there. And then we perform the operation of addition here. I mean the the operation of addition, so we can add this one here. If we add this one, if we can add this one, we get as a, this is 9, so we can have 9, we have 7, we have 3, then we have 0, then we have this one as a part 2, so we can read this one as part 2 point a 0, 3, 9, 0, 3, 7, 9. Now, what do we have? We have a logarithm of 1.34, which reads as 0 0.1271. Then, the whole of this one we have as per 2.0379. And this one, we are talking of the division. So, here we are talking of the division. And the division, when we are using the logarithm tables, it means we are supposed we are supposed to subtract. So we take the logarithm of this one, which is 0 0.1271. We subtract the logarithm of uh, the lower part, which is par 2.0379. So we can subtract here. So there is a subtraction between this. So there is a subtraction here. We can subtract in this case. So we talk of uh, we can subtract, and if we can subtract there, we can have our after subtraction, we can have that answers. We can have this one as a two point. So we have this one as two point uh, zero eight uh, nine two. So after this one now another. The, the other thing you can do here now, you find the analog. So you take the character part, so we can take this one as 10, raised to this 2, and then now we read the analog of 0 0.892 from the table, which is a 1.2280. So it means here now that it's 1.2 280 times 100 and therefore we can have our final answer as we can have our final answer as one point I mean as one two two point eight so that is simple on all of those steps you understand when we have a multiplication it will change into the addition when a number is raised to a given power you are supposed to find the logarithm of the number, then you multiply that power. And then we are talking about the division. The division, it means subtraction. So you will end up getting like this one, using a mathematical table to for significant figure. Kindly subscribe my channel, click the notification bell, you get notified once I upload a new video. Thank you.